Total Outlay Method Total Outlay Method of finding elasticity is by knowing the expenditure made. Actually, outlay by itself means expenditure. So, the amount of expenditure determines the elasticity of demand. That is to say, when your expenditure increases, we can say that the demand is elastic. When the expenditure remains the same, we say that the elasticity of demand is unitary. And when the expenditure reduces, we say that the elasticity of demand is inelastic. Now, please understand that total outlay method of finding elasticity is also a method of finding price elasticity. So, the change in total outlay is always with regards to change in price. To understand this more clearly, we'll take the example. Now, here the price initially is rupees 5. The quantity consumed at this price is 20. So, my total outlay or total expenditure would be 100. Now, if the price reduces to rupees 4, the quantity of consumption increases to 30. Now, if I find my total outlay, it will be 4 into 30 which equals 120. Now, what has happened? My total outlay has increased. First, there is a change in total outlay. Second, because of change in price. Third, the change in total outlay is that the outlay has increased. And when the outlay increases, we say that the demand is elastic. It is elastic. Likewise, in this case, the price is 5, the quantity consumed at that price is 20, so my total outlay is 100. Now, when the price reduces to 4, the quantity of consumption increases to 25. But if you closely observe, my total outlay remains unchanged. 4 into 25 is again 100. So, my total outlay is not changing because of a change in price. The price has changed, my consumption has also changed, but my outlay has not changed, my expenditure has not changed. And when my expenditure does not change, it remains constant. We say that the elasticity of demand is unitary elasticity unitary elasticity and finally in this example here the price is 5 the quantity consumed at this price is 20 the total outlay multiplies to 100 when the price falls to 4 quantity consumed increases to 22 but the total outlay if you notice has reduced to 88 4 into 2, sorry, 4 into 22 is 88. Now, what has happened? My total outlay has fallen. In the first case, it had risen. In the second case, it was constant. And here, the total outlay has fallen. So, when the total outlay falls because of a change in price, we call the elasticity of demand as inelastic. We will say that the elasticity is inelastic. The demand is inelastic. Now let's try to solve a couple of problems on total outlay method. First, if price elasticity is greater than 1, then with price fall, the total expenditure will then with price fall, the total expenditure will, it will increase, it will decrease or it will remain constant. It will increase. 
second if price elasticity is less than 1 then the price fall then with price fall the total expenditure will decrease if price elasticity is equal to 1 then with price fall the total expenditure will remain same it will be constant so when my total outlet does not change i can say that the elasticity is equal to 1 that is it is unitary elasticity 